impulse is really about getting lost and just doing whatever and having no real idea for yourself is, is a big part of life. So the first poem I'm going to do is untitled. It's about my grandmother and how they got to where we are today here in the Philippines, despite being Chinese people. So yeah. When I brought you a book, grandmother, you laughed, you laughed, with shaky fingers felt the pages and told me my brother and told me and my brother how your childhood was spent having your uncles teach you to read in secret, explain notebooks written with funny looking numbers, move you to write verses. You tell me we come from a family of poets, never wealthy but always well stocked with Tomes at least until the communists came. In 45, they burned down all your uncle's books and took your old home away. Nowadays, all that is left of that past is grandpa's eulogy, which according to my mother, you work tirelessly on for days on end to write, reading it aloud, weeping to your children. Grandfather, the willowy branch of your dreams, a golden hollow in the woods, hiding amongst the weeds. My mother did not understand a single word, she said. My good families have generations now. Our voices meet our elders' voices with just faint perplexity. To be heard clearly, we must mix up words. Use our fingers to touch paper we don't understand. Point at the bitter deer beetroot juice on the table and call it growth medicine. There are days when I wonder what time does for us. Why we are so near in blood, having grown so far apart, split by language like a cage, a history stunted and caught between borders. There are days in which I wonder why exactly it is we have to invent words to survive, before realizing that perhaps it is because if you indeed have written or held a book in whatever language, or drank the bitter deer juice medicine, then there is something left left of her blood that still flows, that still ties me to you despite the oceans of space between you, closing the gaps between your shores and mine. Thank you. <laughs> uh,